it's a mosh pit Yeah, shout it bad, but she broke and she don't own shit Mama asked me, son, when the trapping gon' quit I been riding round through the city in my new bitch Young nigga poppin' with a pocket full of cottage Whoa, chemo, stop it, chop up, aim it, get your noggin' Had to cut the body, then the top I had to chop it Niggas pocket watchin', so I gotta keep it What's going on guys? Welcome back. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. Also go ahead and check out the Proven Strength app. Link for that is in the description if you need any help with your programming. We have 19 programs available, ranging from beginner, intermediate, advanced, three, four, five day programs, as well as power building block written by Andy and myself. So if you need any help with your training, uh, go check that out. You also get added to our private Discord with Andy and myself where we do form checks. Um, answer questions, share memes, all that fun stuff, so um, go ahead and check that out. Anyway, so we had the USPA Pro this past weekend. Uh, what you guys just saw was uh, my last workout. This was lean into the meat. So um, for a weight cut, um, as I've said in the past, wasn't really going to cut all the way down to 198. My body weight was sitting around like 217 lean into the meat. And um, it was a little bit higher than I would have liked to go down to 198. And also, at this point, my only main goal at 198 is to hit that um, 800, 600, 900 um, squat bench deadlift or 2300 pound total. I don't know if I necessarily want like 869 or if it's 2300. Um, I'm going to kind of see where squat is at. I, I thought I was closer to the 804 squat, but. Um, you know, we'll see after a healthy, healthy prep if my uh, quad can handle 800 at 198. But um, if not, I'm feeling pretty confident in bench and deadlift being able to make up for that. Maybe something around like a 782 on squat and like a 600, 606 bench and whatever else I do, like 920 on um, deadlift to, to wrap up that 2300 pound total. But uh, 800, 600, 900 would be. I think a little bit cooler. It'd be nice to have the, the record for squat, bench, deadlift, and total on the same weight class. Um, but you know, we'll, we'll take what's there. Anyways, so didn't really cut for this meet. I did a little bit of like a half ass water load lead for the week lean in. Um, basically just got up to like one and a half gallons instead of like two, two and a half. And then cut back on sodium and carbs a little bit. Um, that got me down to about two, 213 kind of wanted to go in at about uh, 95, 96 kilos, so I just went to the sauna and sat in there for about three or four rounds, of like 15 minutes each. Not not really enough to like tax me or be hard or anything like that, just enough to kind of get down low enough to help with the dot score, uh, make it a little bit easier on the day. Just take what I needed to do to win and um, maybe get a small total PR out of it. So weigh-ins Friday went super well. Weighed in at 95.6 kilograms, 210.7 pounds. Uh, it's like right where I wanted to be, and was able to even like eat a little bit that night before. And then ended up hitting this that SPD day that you just you guys just saw that was on Friday afternoon around 1 p.m. Uh, the reason for that we try I've done it in the past where I've done it on like a Thursday night before I start my weight cut tried it in the morning of Friday before um, like just before weigh-ins or like just after um, for this one I wanted to try a little bit later in the day on Friday just to see if 
Um, once I start eating, if doing that movement kind of just helps with blood flow and getting like glycogen back into the muscles. Um, overall, I'd say it did did feel a little bit better, but I don't know if that's because I didn't cut so much or if it's because of actually doing it later in the day. Um, definitely something I'm gonna try out probably the next next time I go down to 198, see if that um, makes too much of a difference. Um, we're always kind of trying new things, but uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, weigh-ins went well. Last workout went super well. Um, went grocery shopping, got a bunch of just carbs, sodium, fluids. Um, drank about a gallon and a half. Had sushi that night. Basically, all the stuff that I've done in the past. Nothing, nothing really changed for this meet. But uh, anyway, so I guess at this point we'll get to the meet and uh, catch you afterwards. Daily routine, but y'all knew that. Step up in the building, asking who that. I'm doing new stats. I mean that new rap. It don't matter what you're doing, cause we do laps. That's new facts. Okay, calm down if you're scared. You ain't calm, I don't care. You can run around, get your gunner down. We blow it up in that air. Bomb bombs right there. I'm top of all of these stairs. Y'all down below, y'all sounding low. Keep looking up and just standing. Say no hide and seek. Find your seat. See, we came to take names. Y'all reminded me. Y'all can't lie to me. Too much pride to be. Just to leash another beast. It's just the side of me. Keep minding me. Like, look now, like, look now. That left fist get hooked now. My book's down. You shook now. Got more heat. Get cooked now. Like, oh man, I know them. Front stage, I show them. Just another animal that's stepping out. Like, oh man, I'm a beast. Where you at? You ain't calm, I don't care You can run around, get your gunner down We blow it up in that air Bomb bombs right there I'm top of all of these stairs Y'all down below, y'all sounding low Keep looking up and just stare this I'm a beast, where you at? I've been unleashed, what you doing? Take my teeth, y'all can't bear them I'm a beast, oh my god
Alright guys, so that was the USPA Pro Raw Meat. Uh, ended up going very well. Totaled 1030 kilos, 2270 pounds. Uh, was enough to take first place with a 646 dots. Uh, I believe Jamal was second. He had around like 624 dots and Blake LaHue took third around with a 600-ish dots. Um, but I guess we'll go through each kind of lift talk about what the prep was like going into it and what the goals were and how we executed. Uh, I'll start with squat. So as you guys know, um, I was dealing with a big quad injury. Um, had the American Pro eight weeks ago. Did not really give much time to recover as well as train the lift. Um, the whole prep, I was dealing with like quad pain even on like 135 pounds and it wasn't until four weeks out I was able to get about 500 pounds. And even then, it was still kind of bugging me. And then ended up only having two workouts over 700 pounds. Had like a 705 single and a 738 single. That was my last two heavy days before the meet. Um, probably could have gone a little bit heavier on the 738 day, but that was the first training day that I did not have any pain in my quad at all. And at that point, I was just kind of happy to be pain free. So, um, plan going into the meet was hit something around 760, 766 for my third attempt. Um, 766 would be a two and a half kilo PR. So, opening attempt, 700 pounds, 699, whatever. Um, pretty, pretty safe bet. Ended up getting one red light for depth. Um, but at least that kind of knew where where my pocket was um, just kind of like baseball figuring out where your strike zone is uh, then second attempt went up to 744 which is planned second that moved super well felt very comfortable um, was not as shaky as I have been in the past few meets uh, just by lack of a big weight cut and maybe also doing a little bit of calf exercises and um, doing the uh, light SPD day a little bit later in the day. It felt like I had a little bit more glycogen in my, my muscles, a little bit more fullness. Um, but again, not sure if that's just because I didn't cut as much or if it's because of those other factors. So that'll be something to test out in the future. But uh, anyway, so the 744 moved super well. Uh, ended up going the 766. Moved about as well as I expected it to. Um, it was a little bit slow, about halfway up. Felt a little bit popping in my quad, but it wasn't um, enough to really uh, cause any issues the rest of the day. It's a little bit sore right now, but I think that's just kind of some scar tissue breaking up. Um, I should be good by early next week. And looking forward to actually getting to be healthy, not have to push my squat super hard, and just uh, slowly build back up my... Um, squatting volume and actually train the squat rather than trying to um, just get healthy enough to hit a decent meat PR or meat number. Um, so yeah, squats went as well as I could. Small two and a half kilo PR uh, and ended up pretty healthy. So moving on to bench. Big goal for this one was a 600 pound bench. Um, hit it a few times in training, uh, mostly touch and go and then finally hit a 606, 275 with a, a short pause. And the last couple meets have been feeling very good for bench. Um, but also the pads going into them. Um, the competition platforms were phenomenal. So I kind of knew going into the meet it was going to come down to how good the pad was for this meet. Ended up being pretty good. It was a little bit not quite as good as the American Pro, I don't think. I think that, that pad was a lot stickier and the ground just felt a lot more locked in. But uh, it was better than the one that I've been training on at SoCal, a little bit newer, um, basically the same brand, it's Ghost Pad, but uh, just slightly less used. Uh, did not feel super good on it, but I also didn't feel terrible. Um, opener was 529, 240 kilos, that moved pretty well, got a little, um, a little sticky out of the, out of the lockout. Um, pauses were a bit longer. Um, I don't know if I'd say quite as long as the American Pro, but they were longer than I've had at like hybrid last year and um, showdown last year as well. 
but ended up going playing second, 568. That moved well again. Um, called for the 600. I was a little bit nervous about that call just because, uh, I mean, it's a big number, but also I haven't missed a bench in a meet in like, like four years or something like that. And um, that's kind of a streak that I, <laughs> I pride myself on right now, so I didn't want to ruin that. And uh, ended up being the right call. I don't think it, uh, I think maybe 606 bit maybe would have been there, but uh, wasn't really worth risking it. So uh, 600 moved well. Um, Lockout was a little bit slow, but uh, moved, moved smooth regardless. And feels good to finally check the 600 pound bench off my list. Now just have to do it at 90 kilos. Uh, going into deadlift, had a pretty good lead for first place. Um, deadlift prep was good for the most part, except for my last heavy day. I was hoping I could go for like 9. 909, 915, but um, during the warm ups, or uh, a couple days before, um, felt a little like pop in my glute, and then it wasn't really bugging me too much during until I got up to about 606 on my warm up, and um, on that that rep, it just popped again and um, was feeling super uncomfortable. Still managed to hit 870 that day, but it was, it was really slow. Um, that was about two and a half weeks out from the meet, so I wasn't really worried about it being an issue on meet day. I was just kind of more so bummed that I wasn't able to go for a training PR. Um, but that ended up not being an issue. Uh, what I was more worried about was um, I had a little cut on my index finger, which uh, was a result of breaking up a little dog fight. <laughs> so uh, I was just nervous about that causing an issue with grip. Um, it was bugging me a little bit during warm-ups, but uh, once I kind of figured out where to place the bar in my hand, it wasn't too much of an issue. Um, opener took 375 kilos, 826 pounds. That actually, uh, ironically, felt the worst out of the three attempts. Um, I didn't quite grip it right, and it was, uh, wasn't quite slipping out of my hands, but it was, it was in my fingertips, and it was kind of a little bit close and just made the lockout a little bit harder because I had to, I couldn't like snap as well as normal just because I had to like focus on holding on with the grip. Um, second attempt went up to 395, 870 kilos. Um, I figured that was around um, what I needed to hit to basically guarantee first place. And uh, unfortunately, <laughs> well, fortunately it moved super well but um, between like worrying about like my finger and just how well it went, I just kind of <laughs> had a brain fart and just did what I do in training, just kind of dropped it the last couple inches. Uh, I knew it the second it happened, and uh, I was just kind of praying the, the refs wouldn't see. It was, it was really close, but uh, they did, and I got red light for it, so that was my, my one miss for the day, <sighs> which uh, sucked because... Um, after that, I was a little bit nervous because Jamal, if he hit his second deadlift, which was 1,003 pounds, um, that would put his dot score within like 0.2 of me. So he basically would have just had to have pulled another like two and a half kilos to beat me out for first if I missed my third attempt. Um, so I was kind of kind of concerned about what to go for, but the 870 moves so well, I decided to go. Tie my PR, 410 kilos, 903 pounds. Um, very much nervous because 903, um, even though the 870 moved as well as it did, I was definitely uh, a little bit nervous because, like, I mean, once you're getting up to that weight, like, any little thing can go wrong and you'll miss the lift. And then I'm missing out on, I don't know, like $5,000 or something. I don't remember what the second price, prize money was, but yeah, so. Hit the 903, it moved very well. Uh, best 903 I've ever hit. Um, really wish I would have held on to that 870. If I did, I would have felt a lot more comfortable going like 909, 915. But uh, we'll save that for the next meet. Um, regardless, has me confident in my deadlift and my bench that with a cut down to 198, I can maybe go 782 on squat and uh, get the other two lifts to what I need to hit that 2300 pound total 
and then finally bulk up to 220 like you guys have all wanted me to and take over the world at that weight class but uh yeah so ended up 1030 kilo total 2270 hit all the numbers I wanted to uh, in prep really or uh, in the meat only wish I would have gone up to 909 915 that would have been kind of cool but uh going forward I do not have a meat plan I'm not really sure what I want to do I kind of want to take a little bit of time off from prepping um, in the past I've gone completely off supplements so um, after talking to a few people I think I'm going to try and just do like 100 milligrams test per week and uh, see how that goes. Uh, my only concern with that is that I'll retain a lot of weight because usually when I come off I drop about 10 to 15 pounds and then when I get back on cycle it just kind of creeps creeps up slowly. I like to be around like 215 going into a meet that I'm going to cut to 198 and I'm just kind of worried about being too heavy. So we'll see. And uh, yeah. I'm thinking something around like March, um, hoping that hybrid gets announced soon, but if that doesn't, maybe I'll just do like a local one to just kind of dip my feet in and see if there's like another paid meet in that time frame. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, so since I'm not really training this week, I'll probably do like a Q&A video, so if you guys have any questions, um, put them in the comments below. Um, I'll try and get to as many as I can. I'll also probably post on Instagram story for any Q&As. Um, and then, yeah, we can go from there. And uh, if you guys haven't already, check out the Proven Strength app, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.